How are we doing, everyone? We all good? Okay, all right, simmer down. Now, I have a really great custom map to show you here. 198 capitals of the world, that's capital cities. I got this idea from Geo Peter. If you haven't checked out his channel, check it out. He's a great guy and a great GeoGuessr player, much better than I could ever hope to be. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens here because I'm guessing a lot of these are going to be photospheres because a lot of the countries that they are the capital of won't be aren't, aren't on the regular GeoGuessr. Um, so it's going to be really interesting. Um, we're going to get countries like Gabon or St. Kitts and Nevis, you know, whose capital cities, I haven't got a clue what they're called. That's the thing, I only know probably less than half of all the countries, um, capital cities. So, but, but of course, I will be able to zoom in the map and, have a, and just have a pop, have a guess. Um, so without any further ado, I'm going to play this. I'm going to make a challenge link. I'm going to do no moving. Uh, because I think most of them will be photospheres anyway, or a lot of them will. You guys can play along, of course. If you don't know how to do it, check the description below for the instructions for the best way to do it. And without any further ado, let's see what capital cities crop up, and let's see if I can get any of them. I'd be amazed if I can get two or three. I'd be pleased with that. Here we go. Let's begin. Oh, wow, we're in a football stadium, straight away. Maybe I can get this. Let's have a look. What what have we got? Oil search. Oil rig. Brian Bell Group, Club Lounge, SP, our team. It's not that big, a stadium. These people look... I think they look like islanders, Fijians, Tongans, something like that. And that would, ah, there we go. It's Papua New Guinea, we have the flag. So, yeah, that makes sense. They do look very Papua New Guinean. I was gonna go on to say that the stadium doesn't look very big, therefore, but it kind of had a, an Aussie vibe to it. I don't know why. I don't know why. And I don't know why I didn't see the flag straight away, but never mind. Because it's a rugby pitch, that'll be why. First thing I would have seen would have been rugby posts, but I didn't take that in straight away. That's why it had an Aussie vibe to it because it's obviously hot and Southern Hemispherean looking. I know that's not a word. Uh, or is it? I don't know. Anyway, Papua New Guinea. Excellent. So, what is the capital of Papua New Guinea? I have no idea. Port Moresby. I do know someone actually who went to Papua New Guinea to play against them in cricket. Uh, and he said it was an interesting experience. Right, can I find this stadium? Because who knows, maybe the perfect score is on here. What's the stadium called? Brian Bell Group, Brian... Oil Search National Football Stadium. That is a shocking name for a stadium, isn't it? Okay, let's try and find it here. I wonder what the demographic is of this city. I know nothing about it. I wonder what percentage of it is white and is black. Be interesting to know. National Football Stadium, there we go. Right, how accurate is this gonna be? And also, is the compass correct? That's what I wanna know. So that's obviously north-ish. Who knows? I don't know because we can't actually see the stadium on the map. So um, I'm just gonna go here. And excellent, we're 36 yards away. I'm guessing that that was correct, yeah. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, 5,000 points, what a start. Well done if you matched me there. I'm sure a lot of you did. Those of you who put any sort of effort in, anyway. Next one. Oh, well, well, I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Now, this is about as easy as it's going to get, isn't it? I wonder if I've walked down this road, stooned out of my head, I don't know. I, do you know what, I think I recognise this street. And we're gonna have to find this thinking about it, aren't we? This isn't just guess the city, it's mainly what it is, but we're trying to get a perfect score. Now I believe that I walked down here with my brother Ben and cousin Jonathan, but, <laughs> 
I don't know. I mean, when I say walk down it, it, it was on our way to our Airbnb. It's Amsterdam, for those of you who don't have too many brain cells. Maybe you've been to Amsterdam one too many times and you've killed all your brain cells. No, that doesn't make sense. Where was this street? So we stayed... We stayed near this zoo, Artist Zoo. Uh, but where did we then walk? Where did we go from there? Yeah, I think, oh shit. Was it this one? The map's gone, there we go. Maybe it was this one, this canal here. I'll go with that. It's probably not. Okay, where is the... Okay, okay. The, the, yeah, that does... No, it doesn't really correlate. Um, all right, I'm going to look for more clues because I don't actually think we're on there and I think that many of these canals look similar. So, can we find any street names or clues here? I've got a canal down there. And it meets another canal. It me I'm, I'm going to bloody get this. It meets another canal. And we've also got a little street there. And I can't read that. But maybe if I find it on the map, I'll be able to go, mm, yeah, okay. That does, I can believe that that reads it. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a longish word. It looks like it begins with T. Anyway, um, we've got to really correlate with the compass here. The only thing is, I'm a bit worried about is, the compass might be wrong. Don't know. Anyway. Oh, God, there's a mighty lot of canals, isn't there? Okay. Also, at the end... Yeah. that It's, it's a perpendicular junction, right? Yeah. Okay. And I would say that the canal is going slightly... Yeah, slightly like that. Okay, so here we go. Trying to find this canal in the Netherlands. This is an interesting little quest I've set myself here. So I'm looking for that perpendicular junction that correlates. Also, how central do we think we are? Fairly central, I would say. I would. Um, right, yeah, I'm going to speed this up for you guys. And then if I find anything of note, I'll stop it and explain. It does look like we could be here, to be honest. And it does actually correlate with the um, compass as well. Is there a bike shop over there? We've got the bridge there. Charging station. Can't see that. So bridge there. The only thing that's missing is that, but yeah, that's, that isn't there. That just isn't there, so. As much as it looks like that, everything else correlates, but we just can't be there because of that lack of street, because it's got a name. So I'm going to keep looking. Ah, what about this one? What about this one? It's the next one down, I believe. That I can believe we are next to. Um, because there's also a street opposite. You can just see the edge. What's it called, that street? What's this one called? Does it have a name? I'm not getting that name. Oh, there we go. Ursta something Strat. Uh, possibly. I mean, we can't read it. But where would that put us? Sort of, sort of there, I would say. So I'm going to go for it. It all correlates. I'm happy with it. Um, I can't read any of these things particularly. Um, and it feels like the right sort of distance out from the center because there aren't that many shops. There's quite a few apartments as opposed to shops. And that would correlate, I would say, with that sort of area, I think. Anyway, there's my guess. One yard, one yard, amazing. That was a good one, that was, that was really, 
I've never done that on GeoGuessr, figured out where I am in Amsterdam, so that was a real treat. At least not in the centre, in the thick of it. Okay, moving on. Well done if you got that, seriously. You know the feeling if you got it. It's very good. It's better than being stoned, believe me. Right. Uh, well, I don't know. Anyway, next one. This is a capital city. A capital city. I'm thinking Kiev straight away. But... Who knows? Let's see if we can find a flag. So, we'll get this. We will get this. Look. Volodymyrska Strasse. Volodymyrska. So, that's going to help us a lot find exactly where we are. If, of course, we do find the city, which we will. There's a flag up there, but I can't read. I can't see the colours of that. Um, compass will be... I think the compasses are right. The last one was, and I think the first one was. Um, looking at these, this is how we'll tell that it's... Oh, well. There you go, that'll do. Look at the colours on that railing. They are the exact shades of the Ukrainian flag. <clears throat> but I was going to say, Audi, Mercedes. Um, we do have a, f a couple of Asian ones. Um, Dayu. Hyundai, what's that? I can't quite tell what that is. I don't know what that is, to be honest. Um, but a mixture. But then Moscow would also have a mixture. Toyota, Citroen. That, what's that? We've got a yellow and... What's going on with that? Yellow and green? I haven't really seen that before. Um, but I'm fairly sure that this is Kiev, to the point where I can go in and look for that street name basically so what's it called Volody, Volody Merska can we see those towers, where are those towers Volody Merska is going basically northwest what's going on there okay I thought that was a bit more sinister than it than it perhaps is there's a Ukrainian flag so that just Cements it. Volodymyrska. Got it. Got it. Hang on a minute. I guess, yeah, I guess if that's north, then it is actually going slightly northeast. My mistake. Volodymyrska, I would say that we're here, judging by that. Perhaps not. Uh, we've got a little... I mean, this is a very wide road, so let's look for that. It's probably here, isn't it? It's probably there. Do we have the path in the middle? Yeah, you can see the path there and there. I think someone's parked on it, so that's not very helpful. But, yeah, I'm happy enough, I think, to go with that. And it carries on over the other side. And do we have a park? You bet you we do. Boom. 11 yards. Not quite one. But it will do. Fourth round. Can we get a perfect score here? Now, this is... I was waiting for it to go a bit... Not easy. <laughs> I was waiting for it to go pear-shaped. Uh, who have we got here? I would say that these guys are black as opposed to... Indian. Roughly speaking. Um, but I don't know. All their faces are very well blurred out. Mm, this Now, this could be hard, couldn't it? Because this is what I was sort of talking about in the intro. You know, perhaps getting a, an African country like Gabon or something, where it's just anyone's guess. And we've got to pray that the compass is right here, because it's telling us that we are on the west coast. West coast of Africa, okay? Um, what can we see out there? We've got, it's quite a calm sea. To the point where I'm thinking, could that even be a lake, like Lake Victoria? Or say if we we're in Rwanda, let's get into the map. Or Malawi or something. That can't be Malawi. Um, Rwanda is here. I don't, God knows what the capital is of Rwanda. Um, I can't even... Okay, here's Burundi. Bujumbura. But it can't be that, because look how far the lake stretches northwards. So 
It's not that. This, this is just, I'm just going with the idea that this is a lake for now. Um, but if you think about it, there's huge oil tankers out there, so probably not. Would you get oil tankers on lakes like this? I'm guessing not. So, I can't find the capital of Rwanda, but there isn't a major city along this lake, and it's, I just, I'm scrapping that idea. Um, it can't be any of these, because, yeah, the capital of Kenya is Nairobi. Just ruling stuff out. Malawi, what about Mozambique? I don't know the capital of Mozambique. No, it's it's Maputo, yeah, okay. Um, I knew that. So, I think, more likely, I'd laugh if it was Gabon. That'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? Libreville. We'd need some land down there. You know, it's sort of in an estuary, the Gabon estuary, funnily enough. And we'd be seeing, we'd be looking out and seeing this peninsula. It is a bit sketchy, the, the stitchery, but I don't think that's it. Um, but I do think we're, it looks very equatorial. Maybe it's equatorial Guinea then. Here we go. Batter. Batter. Is it hilly? Yes. Um... There's a little creek there. There's some there's some water coming in. Could that be that? I don't know, maybe. It's hard to tell from up here. Um, and yeah, it kind of does sweep around. Not convinced about batter, not convinced, but we'll put the marker down and we'll keep looking because we're on a perfect score here. The odds of me actually getting this bang on with a perfect score are just very slim, aren't they? But we'll, we'll try. It's not that place. Douala. Douala. Yeah, Cameroon. Oh, that's not even the capital. Uh, let's get a move on. Let's get a move on. Oh, God. We, right. So we're heading around to Monrovia now. Monrovia. Look at that. That's not it, is it? That's a tiny place can't see that it's that at all. It's all it all looks very flat as well so moving on from that Freetown Sierra Leone we're in some dodgy cities here um, no what's that what country is this Guinea Conakry I mean this is I'm learning I'm really learning no that's all flat I can I think I can tell oh, maybe not This is going to be by far the longest round, isn't it? I don't think so, because look at the size of those mountains down there. So no, I think I don't think we're on a peninsula like that. Conakry, I'm never going to remember that. Bissau, it's not Dakar. It's not Banjul, which I've just learned is the capital. And then it's getting deserty. So what about Sao Tome and Principe? No, capital is over on the east side. It'd be annoying if the compass is wrong here, but I can only work on the assumption that it's not. So out of all of those, what was the best one? Hang on a minute. What's this one? Cabinda. Did I, did I gloss over that? That is... Okay, Equatorial Guinea is the one that I've gone for so far. What about Luanda? Are we... No, there's a bay there. Wait. There is. There is. Look over there. There is a peninsula. This is, this is key. So, right. We've got the peninsula. I don't know about the bay over there, but it does carry on. We can see another bit of it there. This is, sorry, this is detailed working out here. Um up the coast a bit I don't know man and then do we have mountains down here that's a huge place that is a huge city and we're not there because it's too mountainous I think 
I don't think we're there. Luanda, what a massive... No, Luanda looks too big. It's bloody huge. What's the capital of that of? Angola. Bloody hell. Right, so what is this country here? I actually don't... That's Angola again. So avoid that. That's why it doesn't have a capital city thing on it. Did I look at Point Noir? Yeah, okay, so I'm wrapping this up, don't worry. I realise this has been a long drawn out thing. I'm just going to have to go with this one and say that that over there is, is this port, but I don't think this is correct. Um, how far out are we from the sea is the next thing to work out. Um, let's say that we are, let's say that we're here, that's a hotel. Let's go there. It was Freetown. Oh my God. So I see what's happened. I've completely disregarded the possibility that we were on this western bit. Looking out over here towards Lumley. There's the creek, Lumley Creek. I wonder if that was named after Joanna. And there's that bit of land, which obviously wasn't a port. So if I'd have just spent a bit longer, I think I would have got that. I hope I wouldn't have, you know, disregarded Freetown. But I was too obsessed with this northern coast. Damn it. Um, yeah, that's where it's crumbled. That's where we've lost loads of points. Last round. Here we go. This looks like Israel. Straight away. Um, there's the yellow plates, there's the white and red curb. Anyone who's played GeoGuessr a lot extensively will know that this is Israel. However, what is actually the capital of Israel? Is it Jerusalem? Or is it Tel Aviv? I think it's one of those shared sort of things, isn't it? Tel Aviv, Jerusalem. They're both in capitals, which tells me that that is the case. So we could be quite a few miles off here as well. I think this is more like Tel Aviv because Jerusalem is pretty damn hilly, isn't it? Look at that. Look how hilly that is. So I'm sure there are flat bits, but I'm going to go for Tel Aviv and I'm never going to find this spot because it's impossible at the best of times, even if you're playing diverse world, moving around, even if you're moving around, uh, it's hard. But slight gradient to it. Um, we can see in the south that there's a bit of a hill. Just gonna have to guess here and we'll, we'll see how close we get. So Tel Aviv, um, let's go about there. Here we go. Great, it's Jerusalem. Yep, yeah, all right. Everyone can have a laugh. There we go. Yep, yeah, turns out not all of it's like the Himalayas. There are some fairly flat bits because that did have a gradient to it, didn't it? That's the daft thing. 4772 points. There's the summary. Well, I got over 20,000. I can be proud of that. And the first three perfect scores. Um, I really enjoyed that and I can't wait to play this again. I can see myself playing this three, four, five times. Um, how did you do? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you got all five because, well, actually the fourth one was a hell of a lot easier than the Israel one in the end, I would say. But if you were clever, unlike me, and you decided that that was Jerusalem, maybe you persevered, seeing as it was the last round, and got that one. But I doubt it. In fact, I won't believe you if you say you did. So comment, but I won't believe you if you say you did. And thanks so much for watching. I'll do this again. Let me know if you want to see it again and how much you enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon. Thanks and goodbye.